What's up you guys? Slasher Movie Reviews here and with Guardians of the Galaxy now officially out in theaters and making this the 10th entry in this Marvel Cinematic Universe, it only seemed fitting that I would share with you guys my definitive ranking of all these Marvel films. So without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Starting my list off at number 10, I have Iron Man 2. Now personally, I think Iron Man 2 is kind of a mediocre superhero movie. It's fun, it's exciting, a lot of the action sequences are great to watch, but I do feel like they go on a little too long and they get a little repetitive. I do think all the performances in this movie are terrific, especially Mickey Rourke who does a great job at with Flash. But personally, I don't feel like this needed movie needed two villains in this film. Coming in my number nine spot, I have Iron Man 3. Now, I know some of you guys might be a little upset that this film is as low on the list as it is, but I do think this film works. And for a good chunk of it, over an hour of this film, I was loving almost every minute of this film. But then the twist came, and I feel like the twist sort of broke some sort of rule of comedy, and it went for a simple gag, then something that could have been far more better and richer. Plus, I kind of felt cheated. I felt like we were leading up to something super epic and big, and instead, it was just a joke. And I don't like to be toyed around like that. Um, I do think this film is exciting and fresh and fun, but the twist of what they did to the villain just, it brought the film down for me. Coming in my number eight spot, I have Thor The Dark World. I had a fun time watching this film, you guys. I thought the expanse and the mythology was great, and I enjoyed getting to see more of the Asgardian lifestyle. All that stuff was great. Personally, though, I will admit there, there are some problems in this film. Like, some of the comedy does become a little bit of a hit and miss. And the Dark Elves, they're dark and they're scary. But outside of that, you don't really get much development in their characters. And I personally would have liked that. All that aside, though, this movie is still fun. And it ends with an awesome cliffhanger. I mean, the ending to this movie is pretty freaking great. Coming into my number seven spot, I have the Incredible Hulk. Now, the Hulk is a hard character to transition from page to screen. And honestly, we saw how hard that was with Ang Ling's Hulk. But where that film got it wrong, I feel like this film got it right. I loved Edward Norton's portrayal of Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Plus, the action sequences are so exciting and thrilling. And the ending was truly heart-pounding. Coming in my number six spot, I have Captain America the First Avengers. This movie is just a good old fashioned summer blockbuster. I love the vibe that this film had. And the action sequences are so much fun and so clear and so beautiful to look at. Also, Red Skull is a terrific villain in this film. I absolutely love what they did with him. He's menacing. He actually poses a massive threat. I absolutely love that. And the plot for this film is terrific. Coming in my number five spot, I have Iron Man. This film deserves a lot of credit for, in a sense, kickstarting this cinematic universe. And Robert Downey Jr. is truly the one and only Iron Man. This film is fun. It's exciting. The humor always constantly works. And for a superhero movie, this really elevated in a sense, the standards for upcoming superhero movies. Now coming in, my number four spot is Thor. I feel like Thor truly utilized everything that we learned from Iron Man and just amped it up to the max. I love this film. I love the fish out of water storyline. I love the humor. The relationship between Thor and Jane Foster worked for me. And also, this film, let's face it, it introduces us to the best villain in this cinematic universe, Loki. Coming in at my number three spot is Captain America the Winter Soldier. This is textbook example of how to make a sequel to a superhero movie. This spy thriller has an incredible plot that's super engaging. Also, the action sequences are exciting and new and it's super tense. This movie was extremely intense, had me biting my nails, and I honestly truly didn't know how this movie was going to end. Coming in at my number two spot is Guardians of the Galaxy. This was such a big risk for Marvel. And let me tell you, this film pays Ah, oh, this is Marvel's funniest, most heartfelt, and original film yet. I am in love with this film. The soundtrack is terrific. The action sequences are great. Everything in this film works for me. And this film, you guys, is going to have a massive replay value. And now, you guys, my favorite movie in this Marvel Cinematic Universe, of course, is 
The Avengers. This movie, we've been leading up to it since day one, and boy, did this film not disappoint. This film delivered, and not only is this the best in this universe, but it's my personal favorite superhero movie, and that alone justifies why I love this film. The action is exciting and new, and some of the moments in this film I'll never forget, and a sense this was like a comic book wet dream of a movie. So there you have it, you guys. That was my personal ranking of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you guys, and I would love to know what is your ranking. What did you think of this list? Make sure to leave your thoughts in that comment section below. And until next time, you guys, I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been slashed.